Skadoosh, Joey Moss with Bad Boy MTG, and we're going to talk, oh, Modern Horizons to, not so spoilers, but we're talking the value. We want to know what cards are worth seeking out. What cards are you looking to get? What cards are you hoping when you crack open a booster box, collector box, that you're going to open? What is the value? Let's dive in. We're going to start off with Inevitable Betrayal. It is inevitable. Matrix? All right. I think this is a really neat card because I like that you're searching target opponent's library for a creature card and putting that card in the battlefield under your control. That's pretty freaking insane, man. And uh, it's got the suspend stuff on it. So it doesn't take too long to get this, this puppy cracking. Um, you can also play the suspend cost, which is nuts, man. I think these suspend cards are cool. I like they brought them back. I like they brought a lot of mechanics back. Um, just old and I'm not sure are there new ones I think we have like a, a few new ones we're gonna find out anyway Sarah's Emissary 7 drop this thing's a beast and now remember keep in mind the prices you're seeing on the screen these prices are what they're going for pre-sale right now so we're looking at this card this is this version of the card going for 1973 this version of the card is 12 77 so just keep that in mind these prices are going to drop okay some cases 60 70 percent some they're not going to change much at all all right i just had to throw that out there before we get too nuts this is a great card like for like a reanimator build or something and you want to go and you know get this thing onto the battlefield or cheat it into play somehow you know i think it's kind of slow for modern but i mean other places are going to see a heck ton of play so a really neat card then we got vindicate holy crap has this sucker been printed a lot so uh, the Modern Horizons 2, the base one's only six bucks right now. Probably gonna drop all the way down to two, three bucks. So it's cool. This thing is now legal in Modern, which I think is legit. Nineteen ninety nine, and you're paying for the artwork, pal. <laughs> That's what you're paying for. And uh, the artists in Magic: The Gathering, man, they are just amazing. Like the the work they put in. I'd like to see the whole process. I'm sure some artists are a little more uh, quicker than others. You know, when they uh, you know get their piece out there, they start you know on their canvas and everything. I wonder how long some of it takes. And some of these are digitally created too, but a lot of props to every artist uh, and all the uh, all the depictions. Man, they're just gorgeous. Uh, Sanctum Weaver, twenty one thirty three. Yeah, that's right. Ramping baby. We like mana ramp. This is probably one of my favorite cards, just because I love dinosaurs. I really do. Well, who doesn't? If, I feel like if you're a boy, there might be something off about you. If you grew up and did not like dinosaurs, if you were not fascinated with them, if you didn't see Jurassic Park and you're like, that's sweet. You know, like just the scary, big, powerful force, you know, a dinosaur brings just in a nutshell, I think is really neat. So this uh, this thing's a lot of fun because you can kind of cheat, not even cheat into play, but you can get into play, you know, a little cheaper. And uh, it's going to go in like those uh, build instant sorceries, you know, uh, it's like a st you got a storm dino kind of thing going on here. Um, a lot of text on there. The more text, usually the better. <laughs> and we got Archon of Cruelty. I like what they did with this uh, this frame here. Um, people are like, initially, the, you know, something new people are usually a little against, you know, like they're afraid of it. They're like, they don't understand it maybe, not afraid. But uh, this new style, I think this is, this and the sketch, we're gonna get to more sketch cards, I think is really, really legit, man. This is our kind of cruelty. It's a mythic, and you can find one right now for twenty one ninety seven. And again, the cool thing about some of these cards is the prices will remain the same or even go up, but on the majority, ninety percent, ninety five percent of them, they're going to go down, and they're going to depreciate by like it's fifty percent within the first month. That's just how new sets work, man. Um, big, big props to Scryfall, by the way. Uh, that's where I'm getting all this. So we got Torok Dread Cantor. I watched on Netflix like a couple weeks, maybe three weeks ago. It's been a while now. Uh, with a group of friends, we watched the zombie movie. Uh, what was it? Uh, the new one that came out. It's got uh, Batista in it. If you get a chance, watch it. But this guy right here, man, if you have Netflix movie up or an image of that guy in the movie and this card, they're like one and the same. The only difference is this, this guy's not a zombie. <laughs> He's a human cleric. But they look extremely alike, and I just find it ironic. I almost wonder if, like, there was some cahoots there going on uh, or, or something. Something just, uh, something struck. Like, this is the same thing to me. Uh, if, anyone else, if you've seen the zombie movie, 
Army of the Dead, maybe, or something like that it's called. Nuts. Urza's Saga. One of my favorite cards from the entire set, and it's it's a really good card. It's a land. I didn't realize this was a land at first. It's an enchantment land, but it's a land. So remember, someone can blow it up. Boom! Destroy. Target enchantment. It goes bye-byes. Um, Urza Saga. Really, really cool. Is that supposed to be Ur Urza? Doesn't really look like Urza. Maybe like when he was an old man right before he got decapitated. I don't know. But this is a card that's going to see a heck ton of play. And um, the version we're looking at right now is 29 29 bucks, uh, and I'm trying 22.96, and then 34.88 is the other version, um, which uh, different art we'll get to. And uh, I did it like this, this on purpose with my OBS, just so um, we don't focus too much on those cards until we get to them. So another really, really, really cool card, Urza Saga, uh, my favorite set. Uh, Dakon Shadow Slayer, Dakon Blackblade. Have you seen the price of that thing? It has been just jumping. Uh, the OG version from Legends is really, really cool. Um, this is the Shadow Slayer, though, and he's he's got some power on him, uh, without a doubt. The Surveil 2 is a plus. I like they got Surveil in here as well. There's so many mechanics they brought back, and I was just excited to see in the Exile Target creature. Psh, that's better than destroying, baby. Get that sucker out of here. His minus six is uh, is pretty cool because uh, um, you can get an artifact. It's a card from your hand or graveyard and throw it on the battlefield. Any artifact, doesn't matter what it is, artifact. You're getting it. Um, this is a card, like, some of my thoughts, per, like, my own thoughts on these. It's just so hard to size up some of these cards. This is one that it's hard to say where it's going to go. Again, I believe it's going to drop down to, like, 10 bucks, And then it'll start swinging back up. But this is a very expensive set, guys. I mean, you're talking, like, $400. 400 bucks for a collector box. Is that what they're going for right now? I picked up one in pre-sale for about three fifty plus like tax, so that was like three seventy, three eighty, something like that. Um, that's uh, that is nuts. That's my own personal. I only got one for myself because I just can't afford all this stuff anymore. It's it's getting out of hand. I mean, they're making cards more and more, or they're making sets more and more expensive, um, and just smacking a bunch of value in it, which I do really like when they have an elite set like this. It's fun to talk about. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of excitement around it and it just expands other formats like crazy because a lot of these cards are going to see play just all over the place you know except for standard none of these cards are standard playable uh fractured sand another cool card for the mill builds got a little bit of cycling built into it um and it actually this this card alone caused another card to spike in price um well i might get to that later uh but the really really cool and the art this is like this, I think this is the one card people are like, what the heck is that? If you look at it, it kind of looks like, what was that? I don't know what that sound was. But it kind of looks like um, uh, like a dra almost like a dragon. I mean, you can kind of make it what you want. It's very abstract what's going on. Here's a person almost looks like. And they're like running. They're booking it, you know. Uh, like, like running from the dragon that's about to swoop in and eat them. That's kind of what I see right there. Just, um, you know, first glance. I don't know what this is. A backpack? I don't know. Someone inside of a backpack? Maybe some newspaper? Who knows? Uh, but Fracture Sanity is a cool card. It's it's up there for Mill. I wonder how well it's going to play out in Modern. We'll see. This card's damn. Just what's up, man? This is damn. I got to get me a foil copy of damn. That's for damn sure. All right. <laughs> Two drop. Destroy target creature. Creature destroyed this way. Can't be regenerated. And you can overload it. So you can uh, just change all the text on it. Uh, to target to each, which is pretty crazy. So you can just have a board wipe with damn. Damn. Uh, then we got Gadron the Hada. This is another card, which if you saw that Netflix uh, movie, uh, the zombie movie, she's like the queen, you know, in the movie. The other dude's like the king, you know, zombie. Um, looks very similar to uh, to, to the, ca not the cast, but yeah. Um, to the zombie uh, uh, queen and king in the uh, in the movie, you gotta watch it. If you guys do end up watching it, let me know your thoughts on it. I thought it was one of the better zombie movies that came out in a while, and I'm not even a huge fan of zombie flicks, but um, she's she's pretty. Take her home to mama. She probably I bet she could cook some really good macaroni and cheese. I, I just think she could. Uh, Twenty six oh eight uh, is what we're looking at right now. Is that for foil? What is that? What did that pop up? It said foil for a second. It's not for a foil, is it? Foil's 50 bucks. 50 smackaroonies, man. That's pretty nuts. Um, 
I don't know where these prices are going to go again. Uh, this is, uh, why am I saying Svi? Uh, Valian of Sea and Sky. Here's one card I didn't talk about in spoiler season. And spoiler season was just kind of um, uh, over the top. I don't think I'm going to do spoilers the same way I used to. I, I like just covering the, you know, the value cards at the end here. What, every, what everything is worth. What, what it all is in a, in a nutshell. Because you can just go up and look it up. You can look up the price of these cards yourself as well. But I think having someone just kind of like talk about things, you know, I think it makes it a lot more interesting than sitting and just looking it up by yourself in silence. So, um, really, really neat. Um, there's Sea and Sky. I love the artwork. We'll get to that, we'll get to that one soon. Twenty six thirty five though. Well, you, you get what you pay for. It's a powerful, uh, powerful creature, man. It's a god as well. It's just ridiculous. And other Merfolk you control have a Ward One. So targeting them, you got to pay an extra one. Pretty cool. Uh, then we have Esper Sentinel. I forgot about this card. Human Soldier One Drop with some sweet looking armor on there. Not sure what's all going on. Like futuristic, like Diablo kind of look. I don't know. Uh, Human Soldier 1-1. One, one. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card. Unless that player pays X, where X is Esper Sentinel's power. Card draw in white. I mean, they're slowly, it's slowly creeping on in. You know, I'd love to see white be strong uh, in magic again. Because it, it's got powerful spells here and there. But the problem with white has always been the card draw. And Wizards is finally... Um, they, they finally they finally get it, and they're doing something about it. I think the community let them know many times over, like, "Hey, we need to we need to mix things up." Uh, then we got another inevitable betrayal. Not going to stay on this one too long, but this is the more pricey one: twenty six dollars ninety seven cents. It is inevitable. All right, and then we have Mirari's Wake. Look the art on this. You can see how many times it's been reprinted. Oh, my God. Uh, and some of the prices on this is nutty. But um, uh, this one is $28.39. $15.25 uh, is uh, for this sweetheart over here, uh, the regular base version. And it's a it's a card that's going to stay pricey. I mean, this this version uh, might drop 10 bucks. you know, 12 bucks. I don't know. Again, a lot of these cards are going to come down. But some artwork is just so extremely desirable that... <laughs> The price can go up, you know, on the card. Uh, we got Imperial Recruiter. Um, I'm surprised this one got printed so much recently, but it was really pricey for a while in Portal 3 Kingdom. Until it, they started uh, making, you know, copies of it. Yeah, there it is. Portal 3 Kingdom, the original. Wow. $203.74. And it was an uncommon. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, a powerful card. Um, keep, 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 it's going to keep getting the reprint, man. But right now it's sitting at twenty nine twenty eight. Here's Fury. Here's Fury. Who watched the Logan Paul fight? Anybody? I was proud of my boy. I, I got so much respect for Mayfield, but, man, I got respect for Logan also getting in there, and I get he's a bigger guy and all that stuff, but, you know, compared to Mayfield and all that. But long story short, because I know you're just here for this. Uh, Logan, good job, my fellow YouTuber. Good job. You, you really you really did amazing, man. I think Mayfield had some uh, chance uh, in the fight. You could have knocked him out, but I think he just kind of like, he wanted, he wanted to put on a show. It was entertainment, you know, he even said that. So, All right, so there's Fury. Got that double strike. <sighs> I, lo I love double strike cards, but I'm waiting for the time they make a double strike card that's got like, uh, this, this one's pretty good though. This, I mean, th this one's really good. But they make it where like the power is like high. You know, like, and it's got double strike when it comes, you know, it's like a five, five, five for five with double strike. There's something nutty like that, you know, or five, five for four with some other, I don't know, ability built into it. Um, but then, you know, it'd be too busted. But yeah, because anytime you got a, a creature with double strike, if if it has stats like that, you know, attack, defense, you're you're looking at a, a really high mana cost. You know, the ceiling's crazy. Um, but this, this was, a, this is a really nasty card here. And the fact that it could deal that damage, man. Uh, it spreads around, you know, divided as whatever you choose. Uh, it can also hit Planeswalkers. I think it's crazy. This is a card to keep an eye on for sure. Um, <sighs> Dies a Lightning Strike, or Dies a Lightning Bolt. We're in modern now, baby. So, cool card, though. Great art. Um, the regular base one is $15.98, but this one's $29.75. Profane Tutor. Got ourselves a new tutor with a suspend for deuce. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand and shuffle going to see a heck ton of play. Not an instant, though, but not many tutors are. Are any tutors instants? Um, I love this. Um, the art on it is sweet, too. Um, 
oh, the old school frame art. I don't think we saw a whole lot of the old school frame uh, in this list. Interesting. Uh, Sign of Draco. Draco. This is a good one, man. Because you can get this sucker out pretty, uh, pretty easily. Spell cost two less to cast for each basic land type among lands you control. Some people I don't think understand that. It's land type. Not for each bas not, bah, not for each basic land you control, but basic land type. So if you got like those dual lands out, you know, it's a forest and a mountain, you know, that counts for two right there. So it's four off the cost. If I'm wrong about that, I love a God correct me. Um, but this thing's really cool, especially when you're running a multicolored deck. Yeah, watch out, man. I'm glad they they um they did some uh they did some remodeling. They gave Dra uh, Draco a makeup. <laughs> they, they put him through makeup and wardrobe, and man, he came out looking sexy. That's all I know. Uh, we're getting to the top stuff, man. We're at Arid Mesa. 31-41, baby. Would you expect any less? You know, I mean, we wanted these for a long time, and now they're just being shoved into a set. Man, depending how much supply, uh, how, how much this circulates, you know, um, or how much they, they print of the set, is, is really going to depict, you know, long-term value on it. But, man, you might be looking at five, $600 boxes within, like, two years. Uh, maybe even less time than that. Getting dependent on the, on the print count. Bam, there it is. See, like, in the movie, the guy had, or, or the zombie uh, leader, he had, like, um, this helmet. I don't want to give a spoiler, but, yeah, he had a helmet on at, at one point. Not the whole movie, but at some point. Because he knows, you know, that's, that's the way to kill. I mean, you gotta, you got you to wipe out their brains, you know. So he wore this protective helmet so he can then... Uh, you know, deflect bullets and stuff. But man, this looks just like him. <laughs> just watch the movie. It's, uh, I, did, did I ever talk about that? Did Watsy mention anything like that? If you guys heard something, let me know if they were in cahoots there. But I like this card. It's, uh, it's a good one. Uh, 2273. 3189 for this puppy. And the other version. Don't even have a price on the other version yet. I wonder what the, man, these prices are probably going to be nuts on the other cards. Uh, Marsh Flats, we got. We got ourselves a Marsh Flats. Uh, Zendikar Expeditions, 106 bucks. The um the OG's Expedition lands are just are just amazing. Um, the art and all that you can't really see it from here, but I just I, I love the look of it. It looks crisp. Um, nothing like those uh, Yu-Gi-Oh looking lands. Uh, not Yu-Gi-Oh lands, but um, what do they call them? Oh my God, what do they call them from Amonkhet? Um, invocations were they? Um, yeah, the art was kind of a little weird on those, but. People are coming around to those as well now. You know, they're kind of opening up to that, that style a little bit more. And the prices, well, they ticked up slightly. But anyway, um, yeah, I like the expedition stuff. Uh, great to see uh, the, um, uh, the these dual lands back. Um, they're they're freaking powerhouses, man. They're like the next best thing to actual dual lands, basically. You know, they're up there. Uh, Merktide, or OG dual lands. Uh, Merktide Reagan, man. Uh, uh, a nasty freaking blue dragon. Throw this up in a control show, baby. You're going to take him to Pound Town. got Delve on it, though. That is crazy, huh? You can get this thing out for pretty cheap. Um, I wonder how many cards in this set are going to end up getting the Banhammer. And how long will it take for them to ban them? Obviously, Wizards wants to sell their cards, and they, but they also want to print really powerful stuff. I'm glad they are, because I was complaining about that. I'm like, why does the power level seem like it kind of trickled down for a while? It's like a few sets, you know, just kind of weak sauce, but that's because they're shoving in, like, premium kind of cards, like the Expeditions and stuff, Invocations, you know, and with a set. Um, but then the power level jumped after they got rid of that. Um, they, they did away with, um, you know, like the masterpieces and all that. And uh, we're starting to see that. All they do now, print a powerful card. If it's too OP, they just ban it. And uh, rightfully so, they should. Oh my God, fifty freaking three bucks! Wow, that does look cool though. All right, we'll get around to that in a minute. So yeah, this one's at thirty-two eighty-nine. Woo boy, nasty dragon. And Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. I didn't talk about this one either. Each land is a forest in addition to its other land types. It comes in handy, man. It's a legendary land. Beautiful. Thirty-four fifty-five. I like that they have Cradle and they have Yavamaya on there. Two of my favorite cards. That's right. Blend it into one, man. And it mentions Dominaria. You got Karn on there. No Urza mentioned, though. No Urza mentioned. Mm -mm. But there's Urza. Uh, 3488 on this version, Modern Horizons 2. Uh, card number 380. Get that sketch, baby. Get that sketch. Did I say pop right there? What up, pop? 
Urza, you slinging pop in the afterlife? What is going on with you, bro? Uh, this one, 3488. Garth, one eye. It's your pre sale. If you bought this for 99 bucks, I'm sorry, you're a sucker. And you can take that to the bank. Uh, actually, no, you probably, your bank account is probably depleted now. But uh, people are paying like 99 bucks, 100 bucks. I don't know how many people bought that. I get the hype, but you guys really got to chill out during uh, a, a, pre, a, a pre release, pre sale, all that. You got to chill. Some cards it's okay to spec on, but not when they're that freaking jacked up. Like if a card just got spoiled, don't buy it. Okay, at least wait a week. Really wait like a month if you're not just picking up boxes and stuff to open up. You got to wait, man, because otherwise you get burned bad. Rare instances does a card actually go above the pre-sale price when it first drops. Very rare. I can't even think of one off the top of my head. Um, oh, yeah. Um, what is it? It's a nasty, nasty card. It's the enchantment. I think it's enchantment. Um, wow. Um, oh man. It gives the plus, uh, plus one, plus one counter. It's green. Uh, you can reduce the casting cost of it. I have a freaking uh, extended art foil version of the card. Um, gain life as well with the card. It's just disgusting. Uh, Great Henge. The Great Henge. That's one example of a card that, you know, pre-sale, I think, on that was like maybe five to ten bucks. And it ended up dropping down to, uh, I think, like four. And then it just swoop and just exploded. And now it's around like 40, 50. And it went as high as, I think, 60, 70, which is just, it says a lot. One really rare instance. And this, uh, anyway, back to this. This is a really cool card um, because it, it's got uh, old school stuff on it, man. Black Lotus is on the card. You can have a Black Lotus. I wonder how much that token's going to go for. Um, Black Lotus tokens. Keep an eye on those. But Garth is, is pretty legit, man. Uh, Caldra Complete. Complete. Uh, seven. Drop. Crazy sick art. 3685 we're looking at. It's a living weapon, indestructible, equipped creature. This thing's going to see a hex on a play. It gets plus five, plus five, and has first strike, trample, indestructible. Haste, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. Whoa. I love it because it has the built-in trample. So, I mean, if you block multiple creatures, it's going to exile them. They're not going to be destroyed. Pretty cool. All right. Um, dirty. Then we have a Caldra Complete yet again. This one's slightly more expensive. Uh, it's got that uh, sloppy, I'm a third grader. Um, I can't draw. I'm a first grader. I can't draw on the lines. Not third. You can draw on lines at third grade. Um, they teach you that what in first kindergarten? Probably preschool. All right. Uh, so, yeah, there's another version of it. Uh, this one's thirty-seven eighty-seven. And we got Dakin. Dakin, welcome back, Dakin. What's cracking, Dakin? He's back at it again. Thirty-seven ninety-eight for this version of the card. Black Blade, baby. I mean, the some of these might fetch. Some of these planeswalkers can be can jump up to fifty, sixty, seventy bucks. They got, they got. It's possible. This one's strong, but I don't know how strong it is. Um, it's it's all yet to be determined. You know, we're gonna find out. We're going to find out very soon. Um, there's uh, his uh, his queen right here. That's right. Dahada. A lot of Dahada. Uh, 30. Is this 37? Yeah. 37.99 with a sloppy first grader. Uh, can't can't draw on the lines. To, uh, art going on there. Powerhouse, baby. This is a freaking powerhouse. Can't control each permanent with a corruption counter on it. I love it. I like how this works. That's where, again, it's like a zombie, you know? Like, it just, when you read this card, read over the abilities, it's, they, they could have wrote zombie on this card somewhere. They really could have. I don't think it says zombie anywhere. It's a zombie. She's a zombie. I'm just saying. Chatterfang Squirrel General. Squirrels. Everyone loves nuts. Am I right? Ah, ah. Ask a girlfriend sitting next to you. Ah. All right. So, Squirrel General, three drop. Or your mom. Um, I'm kidding, guys. Not really. Uh, Chatterfang Squirrel General, man. I'm glad these freaking nuts are going to start kicking some butt. You might see some competitive squirrel decks in modern. Probably not. But competitive uh, EDH, yeah, um, I think so. And this is going to be uh, your commander. You are looking at the handsome fella right there. And uh, the other art is really fun on this one, too. But you're looking at 3827 38 bucks, 27 cents, a nasty, nasty uh, squirrel. And it's great by St. Jape. Esper Sentinel. Sup. Sup, Esper Sentinel. Look at that art. Completely different. It's, um, yeah, I think, is this the only one that's all gray? 
I think there's a few other cards that are like all grayed out, but you do have the gold right there, you know, the symbol on it, showing it's a rare. Really, really neat. Pay no attention to the stuff down here, the not the legality stuff, because it's not updated. Um, then we got Imperial Recruiter, and it's uh, this is a different kind of take on the card. I like this art. Um, wow, Portal Three Kingdoms, I still can't get over that. Uh, Masters, Masters Edition Two. Little did you know, there was a, a Masters Edition Two. I, 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 do they even have boxes in that? Uh, I never got to crack open that. Did only certain people get that? I don't know anything about it. Uh, the Judge Promo is almost hundred bucks. This one you're looking at thirty nine forty two. Cool card. And we got another version of the Hot over here. She's hot, hot to trap, man. She's dark. She kill you. She kill you in your sleep. She kill you if you look at her. She kill you if you mess with her, man. Any of that. I like her. She's protective. All right. Uh, yeah, you're looking at thirty nine, thirty nine sixty nine. Giggity, giggity, goo. All right. Then we got ourselves Void Walker. Two drop black when you see that run these cards are usually really good it's got shadow <sighs> that is a sick mechanic only it's like basically unblockable because not many people are gonna be running shadow you know especially if you just throw this like maybe shadow's gonna have a comeback though i don't know but this would be a card you're gonna run in a shadow build for sure um and just have a lot of fun little tricks on it and stuff uh, it's cool to see Shadow back rare. Yeah, expensive. Thirty nine eighty two. Holy crap. Solitude, five drop, flashing that life link. Three deuce elemental incarnation. They did it all in this set. Again, Wizards, hooray. You guys did amazing, man. Like, this was a bang up set. Uh, it's got the evoke on it, which I was so wrong about evoke. I thought it said convoke. It's evoke. Exile white card from your hand. Uh, and you can play this pretty dirty. Evoke, I think, is too powerful. Does anyone else agree with that? Like, do you think Evoke is just too strong? I really do. I think I think Evoke's out there. There's another version of Dakin. The most expensive version. I just... I wasn't... Ex I'm so delighted. I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting this. The frame, uh, the style... You know everything about it that the text they just they, they made this they made this this style is really neat and it's probably gonna be the most uh collectible you know uh and when it, man i just remember all the crap all the shit talkers they were like ah oh, it sucks sorry it's stupid was it was someone playing a joke on me Wait. you know no it's real man grist finally got around to you baby nice little bird right here that's a bird can't tell me otherwise uh grist the hunger tie this is a card um that's definitely going to be uh very competitive Grista, dude, bro, he's already at 41 bucks. <laughs> bro, he's already at 41 bucks. I would pay 41 bucks just for that piece of art. Actually, that's probably like $20,000. <sighs> Wishful thinking. Um, he's really, really cool. Um, the static ability is nuts. As long as Grist, the Unger Tide, isn't on the battlefield, it's a 1 1 insect creature in addition to its other types. If you get rid of that tax, this card's not that great. But with that in there, Dirty sauce. 4134. 4174. This version of Void Walker. That's right. It's up there. And then we have Thrasta. Tempest Roar. Meow. That was a scratch. That was a kitty scratch. Uh, but still. Um, cool. 4271. Almost double right now than the regular version. Wait. Don't pay these prices, man, because once uh, once all the whales start cracking open all their collector boxes, which we'll be opening soon here as well. Once they start cracking open all those boxes, man, the prices on these extended art and foils are going to tank. And honestly, I I don't like that foils are just, in some cases, l worth less than the non-foil, than the base version of a card. I don't like that. I like collectibles being collectible and sought after. And I feel like now you have to have the extended art foil. Like the extended art foil replaced the regular foil. You know, like those go for double usually or sometimes triple, you know, the base of a card, the base price. It's like, man, times have really changed. But I do like that there's a lot of different versions now of cards. Are there too many? No, I, I really don't think so. But I think it it, it it just adds a different, not dynamic, but it just makes it, it's just, it, it because they printed so many freaking foils, it adds a new like collectability to magic. You know, you can, well, I got this card. Oh, that's cool. It's a dollar. Oh, yeah? Well, it's extended art. 
is two bucks. Oh yeah, well I got the extended foil art, and that's fourteen bucks. You know, like you want to be a baller, you could ball out, man. You know, that's what they're allowing us to do now. They're like, they, we couldn't do that before unless it was just a foil. You had your foil and then you had your regular card. That was it. You know, now they're adding the old, they're bringing back the old frames. They got all this new different kind of etched art. Um, they also got, um, let me, like, of course they have this. This is a powerful card too, though. But they have a lot of different kind of uh, frameworks and all that going on with it. And I, I really like it. I like what they did. Elemental Incarnation. Probably the best card, uh, one of the best cards in the entire set you're looking at right here, minus the uh, the lands. Uh, forty three, forty seven. Holy smothering tithe, baby! But this thing is dirty. You're gonna want to get your hands on some of these. Hopefully you pull them. I wish you guys luck. Sword of Hearth and Home, forty three, eighty five out the gate for a sword. Some swords are really up there, like eighty bucks, seventy bucks, hundred bucks for some swords. Um, this one, uh, it will see play, but some people are saying it, it's. I think, okay, what I'm saying, I'll say this. It's powerful, but not as powerful as some of the other swords. But it's also not as weak as some of the swords we saw in the first Modern Horizons. I think those, they were like nerfed. Like they could have made them better, you know, but they're just a little too weak, the first uh, Modern Horizons set swords. These ones are a little better. Um, or this one in particular is better. So cool card, 43.85, get your hands on it. Then we have Endurance, the other version, 43.99. Flash and Reach, Evoke, Exile a green card from your hand. It's nuts! Uh, enters the battlefield, up to one target player, puts all the cards from their graveyard on the bottom of their library in a random order. <sighs> what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just crazy shuffle weird stuff. Verdant Catacombs, there you go, there you go. It looks like the same art. Uh, that's new art, though, I think, yeah? Uh, let me just look really quick. Let me just take a look over here. There it is, beautiful Verdant Catacombs. Wow. They have come so far with some of these cards. I'm also blown away with the price. Yeah, it's the same art from uh, Modern uh, Modern Masters 2017. Uh, whoa. Uh, so expensive to collect magic, man. 200 bucks for the expedition. Uh, just glad to see these lands back, that's all. Titania, Protector of Argoth. What a beast, man. Protect of Argoth enters the battlefield. Return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, wow. Whenever a land you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a 5-3 green elemental creature token. Protect this thing and you'll just win. It's a 5-3. Mythic card. Whoa. The regular version is only 14 bucks. Look at the art difference, though. I'm not... Nothing against the artist who did the, the original. You know, like the base one. But this is just so... This is like magnetizing. Like, I, I want to I, 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 seduce me, you know, <laughs> seduce me. Uh, 44, 98 for this Argoth here. And then we have Garth One-Eye, the other version. Look at the difference in price, 48.96, this one, uh, and the other one, 36.80 for the, for the base. It feels weird saying base now. He used to not be able to do that. It was only in sports cards, but now we got this. Um, pretty soon, serial numbers, they're coming, I'd say in two years. We're going to see it. Garth, cool card. Uh, Misty Rainforest, of course, always going to be one of the top. 320 bucks for the Zendikar Expedition one. You know, I pulled a Misty Rainforest, and I sold it to a guy. Like Expedition, for like 120 bucks. It was a patron. He got it graded. And I think it, it graded back. Uh, well, I know it did. A BGS 9.5. Sir, you got a good deal there. <laughs> That was nuts. Um, I should have held on to that. But, I mean, I was like, whatever. You know, it was like when I first got back into the game. But I'm glad I can give, you know, a patron a deal like that. Misty Rainforest, dirty, dirty, baby. Then we got Grist, the Hunger Tide, which is a weird art on this. But it's 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 different. Nice uh, nice dress you got going on there, Grist. No offense. Don't hurt me. Don't come for me in my sleep. Uh, cool card. That one's pricey, though. Uh, Arid Mesa, yet again. This version, $50.59. Oh, baby. And then we have Scalding Tarn. Scalding Tarn. I've seen this art before. Masters 2017. Yep, I just moved it on over to uh, Modern Horizons 2. Really neat. Um, up there in price, man. Fifty-two seventy-four for the Cradle of Growth, this version. Again, don't buy these right now. Don't. You're not specking. You're just destroying your wallet. Okay, save your money. All right, save your money. Save your money. Cradle of Growth, 52.74. Holy sh... 
Magic's getting pricey, baby. Um, sea and Sky, beautiful art again. Beautiful art again. Reminds me of... Uh, I can't even think of the name of the card. I'm not even going to try right now. If it comes to me, I'll let you guys know, but it reminds me of that art. And it was printed in a, 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 a recent set, though. So really cool. Um, the Double Masters set. Someone knows what I'm talking about. Beautiful art. All right. Uh, Well-known card, too, which I, notes I can't think of it. 5354 for this version. Murktide Regan, that's right, 5375 on this version of a Regan's. Again, sweet, sweet dragon in blue. Marsh Flats, you're cooking up 50, 50 what? 56, 25, all for, for the extended art. Yep. Um, I do expect these prices to go down, even on these cards, though, as well. These are the ones that are not going to move that much. I mean, you might see this drop to 30 bucks for a while. You know, you might, probably. And then we have uh, Ign Ignible Harak. Expect this thing to get printed a bunch. If if you're not going to play competitively for a while and you just want the card, hold it, wait, just wait, <laughs> just just wait. This thing will drop just like uh, Noble High Arc did. This thing eventually will print it so freaking much. You'll see it uh, appear in uh, the next big Commander product and stuff like that. And uh, it'll probably have three or four copies running around within within two three years. Guarantee it. Am I wrong? No, I'm not even going to say that. I know, I'm, I know, I'm right on this. All right, moving along. So yeah, don't go spending big bucks unless you know you're in the competitive scene and you really want to compete. Okay. Then we have ourselves Gris the Hunger Tide. Beautiful freaking art, man. Look at it. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't see it, and when you see it, you're like, oh. If you look closely, look at this little guy right here. Hi. <laughs> so weird. Hi. You know, he's just like chilling there. There's a little like little cubby hole, a little cave. Like, what are you doing? It reminds me of outer space for some reason, but really sweet, like sliver art kind of looking stuff. Fifty-seven sixty-one, yeah. We'll see you later, space boy. All right, <laughs> we got Cabal Coffers. Oh my goodness! Well, the price has dropped. I'll say that. Still up there, torment man. The foil version is freaking insanity. I'm sure. Uh, I can't see the, the foil version on there right now, but it's up there, I guarantee you. Plane Chase, 86.56. I had the Torment version foil, and I got rid of it. It's probably still like 200 bucks, but I think it almost hit 300 for a while there. Uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Wait till we see number one. Yeah, you already know what it is. Here's Grief. Sick-ass card. With the Evoke, exile black card from your hand. Yeah, this thing's going to be slammed in all the decks. Um, if you're running black, if you're running this, and just... Uh, it's a creature that makes your opponent discard. And you can just exile a card to go and get rid of their best card. You, what? Are you serious? That's a really good trade. <laughs> That's a really good trade. Um, Grief is going to see all the play in modern, probably competitive, um, like, you know, t like tier one, tier two decks. You know, it's going to be up there. Wait for it. Uh, subtlety, crazy art. Let me go splash. Splash. 66.29 for the extended art on this. I love it. It's brilliant. I, I, I like the blue color. This is like one of my favorite colors now. I didn't have a favorite color for a while. I always liked just black. But now I'm kind of coming out of my shell a little bit. And I, I really like this. 66.29. That price is nuts, though. Um, it's probably It'll probably drop to like 40. We'll probably see subtlety get down to like 40. I love the name of this card. Everything about it, man. Um... Maybe 35 is the low this will go to. So hold, hold on to your butts, man. Chatterfang, Squirrel General. This one's hard to say. It's everyone. If you're running Squirrels, Commander, you are going to be, you, you have to buy this card if you want to compete. I mean, it's that good. You have to run Squirrel General as your freaking Commander. That's it. So everyone is going to want this card. It's probably not going to drop a whole lot. This is one of those like kind of exception ones. It, this extended art, after a bunch of collector boxes are cracked, it's probably going to drop to like 45, 50, maybe 40 even. Uh, the regular base, maybe 25, maybe. It might not. It might stay at 38. It might go up. Actually, this card might go up. <laughs> so really, really sick. But yeah, once all the collector boxes get cracked, you know, you'll know you see like a little whoo, little dip. When it comes to that dip, jump in that dip. You want to get your hands on this. Sword of Hearth and Home. There she blows. 69.55. Not a cent mo for that dirty ass home. Yeah, yeah. No. Um for the extended art. So yeah. 60. Oh my god. They still don't have prices on these yet. That's these are gonna be a lot. For a foil version of this. Holy shit. <laughs> 
this might be like 120, 150 foil, maybe more for this version. Um, the throwback, like it's gonna be up there. But right now, 69.55 for this. And then we got a uh, nimble pill for uh, that's dirty with the dash on it. Deals uh, when uh, nimble deals uh, combat damage to a player. Create a treasure token and exile the top card of that player's library until end of turn. You may cast that card. Hooray! That's sick, guys. And it's got dash built into it, too. So you may cast this spell for its dash cost if you do it gains haste and it's returned from the battlefield to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end, step 2-1. I love this card. It reminds me of Hook. I don't think it was a monkey in Hook. Was there a monkey in the movie Hook? I don't know. Pretty cool, though. Seventy-two twenty-two. What's a foil going for of this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're at 96.62. Holy crap. Um, why don't this show me the foil version right now? No foil. You know, we, no, no foil for a week. All right. Then we got Solitude. I'll show some foil versions at the end of this. Um, wow. 84.48 for Solitude. Oh, my God. That's going to tank. But it's, it's a good card, but it's not going to be $84. Cool, you know. The foil version is going to be nuts. Uh, again, the... <laughs> Is some of these cards you get it? It's like you just got a lottery ticket, especially if you purchase like a, bo a random booster pack. I, I I I love hate these stories in the comment section. If if you made it this far in the video, I want you to tell me a time you bought only one or two packs and you just pulled something sick as hell. I want to hear from you because like I want to love hate the comments because <laughs> like we all want to pull that sick ass pull, you know. And I know some people just troll me and you know make up crap. I like to hear that too. That'd be fun. But, yeah, if you made it this far, tell me a time you pull a sick card. Um, I'm happy for you. Oh, there's the price. It's down here. I'm an idiot. $124.03 for a foil on that. Whoa. That's up there, man. $124.03 right now. Um, it's going to go down, though. That's where they extended our foil version. Um, but, yeah, share your story with me. But, man, I love hate. I love hate to hear what you guys got to say, man, because it's, like, it's just jealousy. You know? We all experience jealousy. It's like, oh, my God, like, you got that. That's what's up. Hate you. Fucking hate you. Don't come over. Yeah. <laughs> Not allowed to be friends no more. Um, but I, I get happy for those cool pool stories as well. So tell me about your swimming pool. Misty Rainforest, uh, sitting at an astonishing, oh my god, eighty-five dollars. Rightfully so. We see the foil on that. Nope, no foil pricing yet. Alrighty then. It's gonna be like 150, something like that. Uh, grief, maybe more than that. I don't know. Maybe. Grief is uh eighty six seventy four for this version. Oh my god. Uh, you could buy it out for a foil. One thirty four forty seven. TCG player. You see that? Bing. There it is. That's insanity. Um, Scalding tarn. We got a foil price on that? No. Not yet. A lot of prices not yet revealed. You know, we don't know enough information. You know how they're gonna perform. People just don't want to get crazy with it too soon. This puppy, Scalding Tar, 91.25. Didn't I pull one of these recently? What's, oh man, this is going to be nuts, this price right here. Um, what was it I pulled? It wasn't an expedition. Maybe it was. I think it may, I think it was an expedition. Yeah. I think it was this. I think I pulled one. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Um, I am getting organized, by the way. My collection is finally getting organized. I should show you guys. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna tell you how it looks, but it does look great. I, I have a friend that uh, has been coming over, helping me sort stuff. You know, uh, huge thanks because <laughs> I I really needed it, and uh, we're getting organized over here. Joy must get organized, baby. Uh, yeah, there you go. Burning catacombs, holy smothering tithe, ninety one fifty. Get yourself one of these. Foil price? No. All right, ninety one fifty on the Verdant catacombs and nimble pilferer, sitting at a top ninety six sixty two. Holy. God, 185 bucks for a foil. It makes me happy because I love, man, you guys are going to see some craziness when I open up the boxes. You're going to see me just flip out, man, because there's a lot of excitement. Um, that's going to be had because there's really big pulls in this set, you know, and there's a lot of them. So we're going to have just a nutty time. Uh, Igno uh, Ignoble, IG Noble, Herrick, $109.99. No foil pricing yet on this puppy. Are there foils of these? Probably. There better be foils of these. Um, if there, well, if there are foils, oh my God, it's going to be pricey. I like that it grayed out a bunch of stuff. Got some green going on. You know, these are vibrant right here. I like that look. 
Cabal Coffers coming in number one. 239.91 for a foil version of this. Regular 116.42. You know we all want it, but that price is gonna drop. Come on. No, you come on. Come on, man. 116.42, that's gonna be like 70 bucks. That's gonna be like 70. Hold onto your britches, guys. It's gonna drop. Uh, this version's gonna drop too. It really only spiked like in the last three years. Um, Cabal Coffers. It slowly ticked up, but then it really started climbing, you know, because people realize how good of a freaking card it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to drop, though, because it's the second printing of it. So I would expect Cabal Coffers to drop to like, well, it's also printed at Mythic. I kind of forgot about that. Whoops. So it's not going to drop too much. Um, yeah, my bad. <laughs> the regular, the first version's uncommon, so. Yeah, all right. Never, forget what I said there. Um, it's going to stay up in price, but not that high. It'll probably be like 80 90 for this version. Maybe less. Like 80 Yeah, we'll see. That's all she wrote, man. Craziness uh, with some of these card pricings. Like, let's see a version of this. What do you got? You got a foil? 140 for the Sword of Hearth. Holy crap, baby. Very, uh, very crazy pricey cards, man. Uh, that's all she wrote, baby. Um, I'm just going to stop there. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you made it this far, definitely love to hear from you. Whoa, 46 minutes in. 46 minutes in. I love you guys, man. That's really cool. I got me old flask. Joey Moss, live, learn, and love. Just to go out with a, a little note for anyone. Just be nice to people, man. Treat them how you want to be treated. Don't be a backstabbing piece of crap like this sword here. I actually have an angel on the back. Uh, tattooed, my first tattoo. And it's an angel stabbing me in the back, you know? I just like the art on it, kind of. Not anymore, though. When I was 19, I did. Moving along. But just be nice to people. Be, uh, be a good person. You know, treat others how you want to be treated. And, and stop looking for flaws and weaknesses and everything and people, you know? We're all humans. We all just got to learn to freaking coexist, man, peacefully and happy. That's, that's it. You know, live, love, learn. Dave, man. A ninja. That's what's up. Live, love, learn, man. And uh, if you're feeling down, if you're depressed, make a change. Do something different, you know. Do something different. You might find happiness there as well. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. It helps out. And drop a comment for sure. Especially you, Billy. Who never comments. I want to hear from you. Tell me a pool story. Skadoosh.